If you have a reno question, send it in to us at hamiltonlife at cable14.com. We'll be happy to show it to Bob, and maybe it'll appear here on Hamilton Life. Today, Just Ask Bob is working on gas lines. Hello, I am Just Ask Bob. Welcome back to our job site once again, the kitchen that's finally been finished. Today we're talking about gas safety as it relates in this particular case to the gas stove. Now unfortunately, not all gas hookups are created equal. Number one is the tag. If it's not tagged, it's illegal, period. Anybody that works on your home, whether they're installing a gas line for a stove, a fireplace, a furnace, doesn't matter what it is. If they're tampering with it or doing a new installation, it's not legal if it's not tagged. If you follow me down, I'll show you what I mean. Now, ceramic tile flooring poses a lot of issues. Number one is the gas line. The gas line can get cut or can get damaged or literally come apart if it's rubbing against the tile floor. So what I like to do is use a piece of leftover pipe, inch and a half ABS. We bore the hole larger than the diameter of the pipe. We run it through put a little chrome flange around it and again very important that it's fastened in two locations now this is sturdy if it doesn't want to move around a little bit it's got the plastic protecting it and of course when we tore this kitchen apart a little over a month ago they had the yellow flexible line we don't reuse don't, not at all you don't fool around with gas this is new the piping is new it's very very important now another final item that comes with the stove when you purchase it right here anti-tip bracket now these are critically important when it's gas. You also need to have them when it's an electric stove. Now you've got a picture now, the stove is back in place, uh, a child comes in, flips down the oven door and puts some weight on it. The stove can and will flip forward. Now in the case of gas, if it wants to flip forward, you can obviously have a big issue if your gas line ruptures. Now with electric stoves, it's not an issue. The cord will simply come unplugged, but again, the child can be hurt. So make absolutely sure that you fasten the anti-tip bracket, you bolt it into the wall, it has a slit, and right into the slit, the actual leg of the stove is received. So if there's weight being put by a child or even an elderly person on the lid, it's not going to want to flip itself up. Make sure all your gas work is done safe. Have it tagged or it's illegal. I'm Just Ask Bob. Thank you for tuning in. Catch us every Monday starting at 530. Thank you.